With 150 episodes and hundreds of millions of views, Corridor Crew are smashing it on YouTube. Nowadays, in such a diluted format, it seems everyone on this website is reacting to everything. So, how do Corridor stand out? And how have they perfected the reaction format? For years, two funny looking fellas dominated this whole reaction thing. They even tried to trademark it, but that's another story. But in 2021, reaction videos have never been so popular. They're easily digestible, allow for trend hopping, and easy to make. At the end of the day, we're simply watching someone watch something else. So, as a YouTuber, how can you guarantee someone leaves your video with something? Insight. The guys at Corridor Crew are seasoned filmmakers with years of experience as producers, writers, and VFX artists. It's why you click on the title. They know what they're talking about. <coughs> oh, fuck. So many React channels offer no more than just that, a reaction. If you're lucky, you'll get an opinion. But Corridor Crew offer edutainment, the perfect blend of information and amusement. Don't get me wrong, the crew started when there was quite a wave of professional reaction videos, but their persistent knowledge is why they're still here. Their videos are essentially how it's made, but disguised as a conversation. And pay attention to how everything gets explained to us. Look at the color values of that soldier standing in the doorway. That's the exact same color values that that black wire should have. Digestible and easily understood even by someone with zero filmmaking knowledge. And if they have to, they'll reference their own work to further explain a point. How about the truck shot? How do you guys think they did the truck shot? He's holding it in front of a camera? Yeah. So, they have something to say. How did they keep it fresh? Variety. There's a reason we come back to this channel every single week. Firstly, this isn't one or two people. The Corridor crew is a multitude of different characters, each bringing something different to the table. But there's only ever two or three of them at a time. It's a rotating cycle. This prevents us from getting bored, not that we would, and the cast are excited for it every time. But there's one thing I have to mention, and it's one of the main reasons Corridor have such tempting videos the special guest. Corridor's reaction format is perfect for a special guest. Someone with industry experience and knowledge on the topic not only reflects the crew's insight, but often teaches the crew something new. We're learning while watching them learn. Whether it's a VFX artist, an animator, a stunt woman, or Seth Bloody Rogan, <laughs> everyone invited to the show knows what they're talking about. As a result, each episode of VFX Artists React offers something most other channels don't and that's critique. They offer breakdowns, analysis, but most uniquely, criticism. There's one very common question anyone who watches movies will often have. Why do big budget Hollywood movies just look bad? It's a curiosity that's intrigued the brains of audiences since VFX began. We're very good at knowing when something looks off. Most of us aren't very good at knowing why. Well, the guys at Corridor offer this explanation every week. Their series is all about celebrating visual effects, as well as poking fun at it. CGI can get a bad rep in the film industry. It's because all of us are so accustomed with reality. Knowing that it's contact shadows, cloth sims, or subsurface scattering isn't as widely recognized. Look at their titles. There's a reason they mention bad VFX. But when they do poke fun, it's always respectful. As veteran artists, they know the politics and reality of working with CGI, and they're always appreciative of this. Maybe they didn't have enough budget to really put a lot of money to make this scene better. Maybe the effects artists were behind on time. It's one of the main reasons they consistently get high-profile industry names, even if they've previously criticized their work. I have two more reasons why Corridor Crew have found so much success. But before that, drop a little like if you haven't already, and subscribe. It'd be great if anyone at Corridor saw this, so I'd love some support. I've been a content creator for only about a year, but I've considered myself an editor closer to a decade. It's where most of my knowledge lies, I've forgotten pretty much everything in school. But it's this specialist knowledge that lets me appreciate just how well Corridor's videos are edited. Especially in the reaction format when so many people just rely on the content they're watching to keep viewers interested. That's lazy and, like, kind of cheating. Corridor don't fall into this. Just watch the first 20 seconds of any episode. Before you've even finished your first mouthful of lunch, you know exactly what we'll be looking at, what the main discussion points are, and which questions will get answered. So, we're immediately hooked. But this effective editing continues throughout. Whether it's the simple but clean motion graphics, the funny edits, <laughs> or the quick momentum, the videos never get stale. I don't know how long they shoot for, but I can guarantee they could make hour-long episodes. And they do on their website. But on YouTube, they don't for a reason. Because they're ruthless with what makes the cut. Even when everyone has so much to say and they're all so passionate about a topic, the edit doesn't stick around. We move on quickly to the next thing. And look, again, Corridor didn't pioneer these techniques. Mr. Beast's reaction videos start with so much intensity it's frightening, but it works. The last reason Corridor crew have found so much success is a simple one, but it's one that can't be faked. 
These guys are just passionate, passionate about movies, about the craft, about having this as their job, and it shows. The crew are just geeks, geeking out at stuff they love, and it's mesmerizing. There's nothing more endearing than watching someone talk about their passion, and they're all there together under the same roof, sharing the same energy. The crew have such a strong sense of community, it's like a family. A family that all work together and all damn well love their job. This is what makes every episode feel so casual, like we're just watching in on friends enjoy movies together. Because we are. So those are just a few reasons why I think Corridor Crew have perfected the reaction format. Again, this is just my opinion, but they've been my favorite YouTube channel for a long time and I had to ask myself why. Hopefully you enjoyed this little sit down. I could talk about Corridor all day, but please drop something in the comments what I should talk about next, anything. This is week three of my weekly YouTube marathon. I'm really gonna go hard in 2022. So subscribe if you haven't already and show some love in the comments. Let's get this ball rolling. See you next week.